Lecture 5. Announcements. There's a take-home quiz this week, released on Wednesday after lecture, due the following day, just before midnight. It's just going to be posted on the schedule on the main course site as if it were a homework, except it will be called Quiz 1. Here's the direct address. It's worth three points. It has three questions. They're graded for correctness. So your goal is to get those questions right. You submit your quiz in the same way that you would submit a homework assignment. There are more directions on the quiz itself. It should be very obvious. If you receive a zero out of three, we will ask you to come talk to us so that we can give you the coaching to get you back on track in this course. Uh, if you refuse to talk to us and you get a zero out of three, then we'll just drop you because clearly you're not uh, participating. This quiz is open computer, meaning you can use the Python interpreter, you can watch course videos, you can read the text, you can go back and look at all of the labs and uh, the discussion handouts. You can also, if you want, come into office hours and ask about those examples that we've already shown you or general questions about how a while statement works. That's all very welcome. However, you're not meant to ask people about the specific questions themselves. So don't search for answers online and don't ask your friends how they solve those questions. This is up to you to solve yourself. In addition to this quiz, homework two will be posted and it is due next Tuesday at 5 p.m. Homeworks in general are due on Tuesdays at 5 p.m. Project one is due the Thursday of next week, just before midnight. And um, as soon as the homework deadline passes, we'll post solutions to the homework so you can take a look at those. They come with brief explanations of the staff solutions and uh, you can find them at this address or if you go to the course website, there's a solutions button right here. A very important announcement. There are office hours in this class. They are optional, however, you should go. Let me tell you something. Lots of students enter this course, then they get frustrated very early on because homeworks actually require some thought to solve. Projects are way bigger than they expected, and everything seems quite intimidating. And that's really by design. This is a challenging course meant for people who are really interested in learning as much as they can in one semester about computer science. But you are not meant to do this alone. You are not alone. I make all of my TAs pledge that they will work extremely hard to make sure that nobody gets left behind and no question goes unanswered. Your job is to show up to office hours and declare that you need some help, which is not an easy thing to do, I understand, but you definitely should do it because then the TAs can help you out. In addition to having TAs at office hours, we've recruited over a hundred of our academic interns who are helping um, assist people during office hours. These are people who took 61A before and are excited about sharing their knowledge with you. So go to office hours. You are not alone. Not alone. Go to this address. So this is the course webpage. If you click on the staff link, you can see our pictures, but more importantly, down at the bottom, you'll see a schedule of all the office hours going on and their locations.